Hi everybody and welcome back. So we spring around the corner, it's nearly that time to get our cherished loved vehicles out and put the best fuel that we can inside them and make them run the best that we can. So today we're going to review all the E5 super unleaded fuels that I've tested so far and let's see where they come. So as you can see at the bottom I've already added in 20 mils of blue dyed water um, and I'm going to add 200 mils of fuel into each pot, give it a good shake, let, let it settle and then we'll see what ethanol we've got in it again. So that's all the fuels loaded up, uh, I've not shaken them yet, literally 200 mils into each one of fuel, 20 mils of dyed blue water in the bottom. I can see already some are starting to change a bit, you probably can't pick it up on the camera because I've not zoomed it in yet. Uh, one thing that does stand out when you get them all on the bench together like that, the 99 octane fuels, it must be the octane, uh, the octane booster in them that makes them more yellow because the BP and the Gulf, which are 97, um, you know, they're really clear, like, almost like water. Um, Sainsbury's has got a slight tinge to it, um, but then your Shell, your Texaco, your Tesco, your Esso, that is all 99 uh, and that is quite distinctively more yellow and very similar coloured. Um, I know in my Japanese Subaru that I've got, I, I, I do run Octane Booster in that and that can give it that yellow, more of a yellow tinge as well. So I think it possibly could be that. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through each one and I'm going to score it. Let's get my piece of paper. So, first of all, the ones with the least ethanol content are going to be higher. Then it's going to come down to octane content, higher, and then the best price. Um, now, I went round each fuel station last weekend and I checked the prices, so I can't really, you know, they should be pretty current. Um, the SO, that's a new fuel as well. I replaced that because I bought the other one from uh, a different petrol station than I've used before, quite a way away. So I thought, right, I've never had a problem with the other one, so I thought I'd try that. So yeah, I'll shake them up and we'll come back to it. In last place, in number seven, is Sainsbury's uh, Super Unleaded E5. Now that has 2.5% ethanol content. It's also a 97 octane. The good point about it is it's cheap compared to the others. It's 148.9 pence per litre, which is the cheapest of all of them. So yeah, we'll move on to the next one. Let's go for number six. In at number six, controversial, Shell V Power. I know some people absolutely love Shell V Power, but yeah, it's coming in at number six. Two and a half percent ethanol. So, mediocre, uh, 99 octane, but the price, the price, 164.9 pence per litre, whereas Sainsbury's was 148.9, I mean that's a massive difference, so uh, that is why it's coming six, just purely down to price. In at number five, another controversial one. <laughs> SO Synergy Supreme Plus. Now, this is another one, 2.5% ethanol. Now, I'm in West Yorkshire. I know that other places that say, yeah, it's got zero in it, but when you look at everywhere where they say it's got like, could have it in, it's virtually all over the country. It's all over the place. So, if you're going to run this stuff and you don't want any ethanol, you're going to have to try it. It's a 99, and the price is way lower than Shell, it's 155.9 pence per litre, which is purely why it's coming at number five. Um, so, on to number four. In at number four is Tesco Momentum 99. Now, 2.5% ethanol, Octane 99, as the name suggests. The price is really good on this, 150.9 pence per litre. The downside is a 2.5% ethanol, um, and it's right in there, the same bracket as Tesco, Esso and Shell. 
so yeah, I mean the reason it's come forth is just purely down to the price. In third place, it's BP Ultimate. Um, ethanol, 0%, as you can see. Octane, 97. Shame it's not higher, because it, it'd be fantastic if it was. Um, price, 160.9 pence per litre. So for the top end fuels, you know, it's, it's not so far. It's one of the more expensive, but it's not far out. Um, so yeah, let's move on and see what's in number two. In at number two is Gulf Endurance 97, 0% uh, ethanol, 97 octane, not a bad price at 157.9 pence per litre. Um, it, it looks virtually identical to the BP, I can't tell any difference at all. So obviously very very similar to each other, they might have different detergents in who knows, but certainly from what I've done they're very very similar. So, we know who the winner is, don't we? Let's do it. In at number one, the big winner. Texaco Supreme 99. Um, now this is one I'd, I've never ever personally used it. And uh, one of my local stations became a Texaco, so that's why I bought it. I'll be totally honest, I didn't expect anything at all from it. Uh, but it's got 0% ethanol, 99 octane. The price, which is the only one that is... 0% ethanol and 99 octane uh, I know in some areas it's a lower octane but I double checked it went back to the petrol station and it sure says 99 all over it so uh, I can only go off what they're saying the price is 163.9 so it's the second most expensive fuel out of the lot but everything else is at the top I hope you found this video useful uh, next up is going to be all the E10 fuels and I've got a couple of extra ones like Morrison's and Asda uh, to throw in there, which I've not tested at all yet. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I've got some more experiments coming up where I'm going to put some of these fuels into jam jars and put bits of carburetor in, like motorcycle carburetor in it, uh, fuel pipe, and just see if it deteriorates or what, what happens. I might even put some in with a little bit of water in there as well, so just to sort of replicate if you've got a bit of water in your tank. Um, and yeah and we'll see see what goes on from there with it also I'm going to start buying a bit more fuel as well building up now because I think by the time we've only got like two months really spring spring's coming and then I think these fuels are going to change I think we're going to either see more ethanol or less I just don't know which way it's going to be um, and I certainly you know I want to keep an eye on it so I'm going to just keep reviewing them and see where it goes so if you've enjoyed the video, it'd be fantastic if you could hit the like button and, uh, and even subscribe. I'll get out there, get some more fuels and we will just keep rotating it and seeing what happens. It'd be very interesting to see what direction this fuel goes in, whether it gets better or worse. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.